Good, happy Monday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. Mild winter spills loses for New Hampshire ski resorts. The end of the ski season is leaving many ski areas in New Hampshire with big loses. Heavy rain to soak New Hampshire Monday. Snow up north overnight. The Granite State is in for a drenching Monday. Manchester School Board to vote on narcotic proposal. The Manchester School Board is scheduled to vote on a proposal to stock narcotic in all city schools tonight. Nathaniel Kibbe to appear in court. A hearing is scheduled in the case of a man accused of kidnapping and raping a teenager girl over the course of nine months. Mount Sunapee adds mountain bike trails. When Mount Sunapee opens its Adventure Park May 28th, mountain bike enthusiasts will see a growing number of trails at the Evolution Bike Park at South Peak. Sixty-five-year-old Shelbourne woman dies after being hit by car. A pedestrian died after being hit by a car in Shelbourne Saturday afternoon, according to New Hampshire State Police. Manchester home broken into after fire, police say. Police are looking for the thief who broke into a Manchester home damaged by a fire. Thousands of Easter eggs drop from the sky in Concord. Hundreds of people gathered in Concord Sunday for a church's annual Easter egg drop. Off-duty state tripper rescues owl hit by car. New Hampshire State Police have saved a lot of lives over the years, but one trooper may have sent a new standard for helping out our fine feathered friends with a very unique rescue in Merrimack. Man suspected of Crashing stolen dump truck into house. A Grantham man was behind bars Saturday, accused of stealing a dump truck, leading police on a chase and crashing into a house in Lebanon. Skier found dead at Cannon Mountain. A skier at Cannon Mountain Ski Area was found dead Sunday morning as a result of a massive head trauma, according to officials. Man armed with a knife, meat cleaver, killed by police. A man who police say was combative and armed with a meat cleaver and large knife was fatally shot by police in Middlesex County District Attorney's say, say. Former U.S. Ambassador, New Hampshire resident Joe Partrone dies. A man who lived in New Hampshire for years and served in the Els. Power and Reagan administrator died late last week. Facebook 
mistakenly sends safety checks to users after explosion. Facebook invadedly sent its safety check notification to people now where near Sunday's explosion in Lahara, Pakistan, promoting users to ask what went wrong. Two people rescued after car crashes in Merrimack River. Two people are recovering Sunday after losing control of their car in Hooksit and crashing into the Merrimack River. Field Castro lectures Obama after Cuban trip. President Barack Obama did not meet with Field Castro during his historic visit to Cuba last week, but apparently that does not mean that Castro did not have any thoughts about El President Norte in his country. New Brussels Airport video shows suspects right before attacks. Belgium authorities today released new video on YouTube of the third man they believe was involved in the deadly terror attacks at Brussels Airport last week. The 32-second video shows a man wearing a dark hat and light-colored jacket walking alongside two alleged suicide bombers just before the bombs took place. He had previously been shown in airport surveillance photos. Several injured as fire rages in Denver apartment building. Authorities say a fire raging in Denver apartment building trapped some residents and left several people injured. Brussels death toll raises to 35. Four more victims die overnight. The toll of those killed in last week's attacks in Brussels climbed to 35 after four people died in the hospital overnight Sunday, according to the Belgium Health Minister. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday. Goodbye, everyone.